Okay, uh, so today we're going to look at a heeled rotary grinder model 261. Uh, this is a 12 inch model, that means the chuck on it is 12 inches in diameter, the working area. Uh, they do come bigger, but this is a 12 inch. You have your operator's station here. Um, a couple of things I can show you, we have it running at the moment. Here's your chuck controller for magnetizing and demagnetizing the, the chuck and your workpiece. You have a uh, I'll wrap it up and down to come to your workpiece. Over here you have a diamond uh, for truing the wheel. Now this has about a half a revolution here, only moves the diamond up and down uh, a few thousands. Basically you want to bring the wheel down to the diamond and make your pass and go another uh, thousands with this and make another pass. This is, this is not continuously turned to bring the diamond up and down. This is just a fine adjustment. Okay, you've got your chuck over here. This is a hydraulically operated chuck. Here you control the RPM. You can speed it up or slow it down. These are the controls in front here uh, for the operation of the machine. These are the various dogs that uh, set the reversal. So if I want to come in now, this will bring the wheel on top of our work. And I have my two dogs set here so that we reverse. Now you'll see as we reverse, each time we reverse, we feed. You set the dial to the amount you want to feed off and it will feed down to a dead stop to zero. Uh, this lever here adjusts the amount of pick. You can have up to about a thousandths. You have a fine feed knob that you can do this by hand. Also you have a, a knob on the side where you can disengage the feed and do it manually with the manual feed. All right, over here uh, is the control for the table speed. We can slow this down, or we can speed it up. Okay, when we want to go out, you press this lever all the way, that automatically shuts off your water and stuff to the machine with the, when the water is hooked up. Okay, so. We come back in. Now these grinders are able to grind a, a concave or convex radius on the workpiece. Uh, that's what this adjustment back here, this wheel back here, when you loosen the clamps, uh, this will swivel or pivot to give you the convex or the uh, concave radius. Uh, this machine is uh, currently wired for 440 volts, uh, 460 volts, 480 volts would be fine. And there is a coolant system, and there is a hydraulic unit mounted behind the machine. That's pretty much all there is to go into. Um, as you can see, it's running very quiet. Let me start the grinding wheel. That's your spindle. Now when we want to park, Bring this over to here. I'm going to shut the wheel off for this. We'll shut off the hydraulics. Just want to go into just a little, a little bit about this. If we bring the camera over, I'm going to put an indicator over here. I probably need to maybe go up over there behind there. I don't know if this is going to work out. Just want to show how this dresser works here. There's only a certain amount of travel in this in this bracket. Your diamond would be mounted here. Uh, most of your 
travel down to your diamond is going to be done with your hand wheel. This adjustment here is, is uh, not made to just keep going and going. You get only a few thousandths or ten thousandths, I think, uh, amount of travel on this bracket here uh, to adjust your diamond, to, to change your, your, your dressing amount. Uh, so I just wanted to show that that's working. I don't know if you can see the indicator there. The, you can see the clock face on that indicator dial. See how we're coming up and going back down again. That's all this does. Okay, it's all been freed up. It's all working properly. Uh, I just wanted to explain that because there was some question once. All right, so there you go. That's the Heel 27, uh, 261 uh, rotary grinder, 440, 460 volts. Everything functioning, everything working fine. Thank you very much.